The walls at 516 Euclid Street can't talk, but they do tweet. The Raleigh Historic Development Commission approved this 2,100-square-foot home in the historic Oakwood neighborhood last fall. But six months into construction, oh, architect Lewis course. Cherry and wife Marcia Gordon may have to tear it down. If there had been any concerns, surely the city of Raleigh should have given us some kind of written notification, a stop work order, or something that would have stopped us from putting every dollar we have into this house. Neighbor Gail Wiesner appealed the commission's ruling, calling the modern craftsman interpretation, quote, garishly inappropriate for this picturesque district of bungalows, Victorians, and fancifully painted shotgun homes. A 3-2 majority of the Board of Adjustment agreed that the house was just Frank Lloyd wrong for Oakwood and ordered construction halted. We want homes in the, the district to blend in, just as the guidelines state. Um, and a home that whose very intent is a living piece of art is, is intended to stand out. Cherry says lawyers and even city officials told him the appeal was just procedural, and he continued with construction. Mary Iverson says Cherry should have waited. An appeal means there is no guarantee and that, you're, that you are building at your own risk. Thanks to modern communications, the controversy has gone beyond Oakwood. Someone started a Twitter account for the house, and strangers are now following its fate. Well, I'm pulling for you guys. Oh, thank, you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. The city, the city attorney announced this week that he'll seek a judge's opinion on the case, giving the people of Oakwood something else to tweet about. Alan Breed, Associated Press, Raleigh, North Carolina.